Authorities in Russia's region of Kamchatka say that a so-called red tide is the main cause of massive marine life destruction there, first reported off the coast in early October. But some are questioning the conclusion that a phenomenon caused by a toxic algae bloom is to blame. A red tide event, that's when large masses of sea microorganisms and algae grow exponentially in a given area, killing off other marine life. This is down to the fact that some of those algae produce toxins, while other types deplete the water of oxygen as they grow and subsequently decompose. We discussed the environmental disaster and ways to mitigate its impact with Kanchakka's governor, Vladimir Solodov. Mr. Governor, thank you very much for doing this. We really appreciate it. To understand where we stand, Mr. Governor, would you officially call what happened in Kamchatka an environmental disaster? There are several words we, we, we may use to, to describe what happened, disaster or just a phenomenon. Nevertheless, uh, we uh, may uh, say for sure that the scale of this phenomenon is very, very impressive. And uh, a large part of, of our uh, shore was uh, touched by this uh, massive death of hydrobines, 20, around 20 people were harmed, they were sick uh, after the contact with the ocean water. So what is happening is very, very serious and we are now very grateful for the deep concern of the scientific society and ecological activists uh, all over the world uh, that, who want to, to, to know for sure what really happened, what, what are the causes and what are the consequences of this uh, natural phenomenon or eco ecological disaster, as you wish. And now we're talking about red tide as the main cause for this, right? as far as I understand. Absolutely. We may say for sure right now that uh, the hydrobions were dead because of the red tides, because of those um, microorganisms uh, that uh, appeared in a very uh, big amount in our waters. But uh, the fact that uh, we don't know until now is the reason of, of red tides, because in the pre previous years, we never faced such a large-scale red tides. Um, yes, it happened sometimes in some base of uh, Kamchatka, but for the last 10 or 15 years, we never faced uh, such an impressive death of our uh, marine life. Around a week ago, in one of your interviews, Mr. Governor, you mentioned the red tide, uh, saying, initially, I didn't take it seriously, to be honest. So what happened in seven days to completely change your mind? I'm not a specialist in biology. I'm not a scientist. And as a a simple person living in Kamchatka. Of course, for me, uh, when I heard that uh, those uh, microorganisms uh, could cause uh, such a massive death of uh, our marine inhabitants, uh, of our hydrobions, was like a joke. But we know very few about ocean. And I uh, used to believe to serious scientists who now say that it is not uh, a unique uh, phenomenon that we uh, faced it before, not in such scale, but uh, still. And they uh, explain very thoroughly what the mechanisms were happening that caused this, uh, this fact. We're going to come back to this um, international cooperation, but let me first finish with the causes. Uh, is the red tide the only reason for the mass deaths? Um, uh, of sea life near Kamchatka at this moment, or are you still considering other factors as well? We are considering all the facts, and um, to be honest, of course, uh, we do, we, I mean, human beings uh, do serious ecological harm to our nature. Uh, there is a number of technological factors that may influence our nature. They're not of such importance. Because I remind that we uh, see now the death of hydrobines on the ocean shore of uh, several hundred kilometers. It is impossible to influence with a given technological cause. But nevertheless, my point is uh, that we should do all we can do to make Kamchatka purest and the most ecologically uh, re responsive uh, and safe place on our Earth. But there are still those who do not agree with the official explanation. It's not a secret for you, of course, Mr. Governor. Um, they still insist that it is a man-made um, situation, disaster. What would you say to that? 
Our response is very simple. It is the absolute openness and transparency. We invite everybody who is um, concerned about the ecological situation in Kamchatka, who wants to investigate all the facts and all the analytics we have. That is why we publish every day all the results of analysis taken in hundreds of uh, numbers uh, on our official website. And uh, we invite all ecological organization, uh, it doesn't matter whether uh, it is non-governmental organization from Russia or from abroad to participate. And I welcome everybody who wants to participate in this, um, in this investigation. Moreover, I wrote uh, several letters to our international colleagues, uh, to the researchers, scientists abroad in the, in, in the best in, in, in universities in, in Tokyo, in Beijing, in uh, MIT Boston in California Technological University. We already uh, have some uh, some discussion with them. It is not an official collaboration still, and I think that we should announce, we should organize a kind of international conference to discuss results and and the possible reaction of uh, of all of us to this um, to this disaster. Are you uh, going to invite them to Kamchatka or due to coronavirus pandemic, uh, the work will be done remotely? I asked the um, Russian government to, uh, to nominate the scientific board that will be responsible for further investigation from scientific point of view, because I'm not a researcher, I don't un uh, understand much in uh, biology of Pacific Ocean. I uh, hope that uh, during this week uh, this scientific board will be appointed and uh, their task will be to continue uh, field investigation and to organize this conference. Of course, now we are in uh, in complicated situation due to uh, COVID-19, and uh, I guess that the first step will be remote, uh, but uh, then I will be glad to host here researchers uh, investigating in field what is happening with our ecology. Yeah, the red tide is a global phenomenon indeed, and we've seen this uh, in the US, Mexico, Chile. Um, I understand there are a few details so far, but maybe there is any explanation uh, for now why it happened in Kamchatka and why now? It is not for the first time in, Kamch in Kamchatka to happen. In uh, 1970s, uh, we saw even um, even uh, human deaths after eating seafood influenced by red tides. Now the level, the, the amount of toxication is uh, less serious, but still uh, we, we, we may say that in, the, in this region, in this part of uh, Pacific Ocean, it happens from time to time. Uh, scientists do not have the answer why right now it happened. Of course, we had a very warm summer and climate change may influence uh, different uh, processes in the ocean. Another idea is that the harm of uh, that human beings are uh, doing to the ocean in global scale, there are too much of this harm. And ocean is giving the response to us, to humans, uh, saying that enough you should stop, you should change something in your behavior. I absolutely, I'm absolutely sure myself uh, that we have um, human-caused reasons of this phenomenon and we should uh, ask ourselves what we should, what we should change to, uh, to avoid repeating uh, such serious red tides and uh, such massive death of hydrobions in future. Yes, I understand this is among uh, the priority questions right now. What, what should be done to prevent this to happen in the future? While well, the Mother Nature is uh, sending us signals and talking to us, yeah? Should we, like, what, change our behavior completely? It's, it's, it doesn't seem to be possible, you know, it doesn't change in one day. I would suggest the first thing to do is to implement the, um, the holistic uh, monitoring of the marine ecology. 
because uh, right now there are dozens of uh, of organizations of, of institutions that are uh, investigating uh, making analysis uh, what happening in the air and in water but there is no universal platform or just one stop uh, shop for uh, people interested in this information what is even more important that we should create the interface for those who want to participate to share their their photos their videos uh, with the geographic tags so that researchers could have the holistic vision as fast as possible. The second one is a very uh, thorough work on our past ecological harm that is still in our earth, in our region, speaking about Kamchatka. Third thing is that we should uh, change uh, the way we think about ecology. We should make our behavior more responsive uh, more integral. I mean, uh, we should stop in our everyday life using so much plastic, producing so much litter, and promote uh, ecological friendly behavior. You are absolutely right that we cannot change the behavior in, in one day, but we should start right now, because otherwise, uh, consequences might be very, very hard, very, very important. And uh, what we see right now in our ecological system in Kamchatka is just an example. Now let's go back to uh, the disaster Kamchatka is facing right now, to the beginning of that. As far as I remember, you received the first signals from surfers, some of whom you met before, and this is how you saw their tag on social media. And if I'm not mistaken, it was on September 29th, right, around a week after you officially became Kamchatka's governor. So what exactly happened next? Were steps were taken and what possible reasons, potential causes were investigated? I reacted immediately and I asked uh, those who are responsible for making analysis of the quality of water to do it on even uh, the same day. And after that, every day we did hundreds of analysis and hundreds of investigations in order to uh, to identify what is the poisoning um, substance. The thing we are surprised is that we couldn't identify this uh, again this uh, this poisoning substance we tried again and again and we investigated all uh, all our potentially dangerous um, technological objects um, close to to the ocean shore but uh, found nothing and uh, around five or six days uh, scientists started uh, talking about this natural uh, natural reason and uh, it is now a dominant version. That is so. Mr. Governor, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate I wish you good luck with your efforts to save nature, to preserve Kamchatka. And I wish your region a quick recovery. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for your concerns and, in, and your interest in what is happening. I'm sure we will make our Kamchatka and our planet even a better place to live.